Hey, I'm Matthew. I'm the co-founder of WhaleSync, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a two-way sync between Airtable and Notion. At the end of this demo, you'll see how to sync data both directions between Airtable and Notion in real time. All of this is going to be without any code and done in just a few minutes. What we'll cover quickly is how to set up your data so it's ready to sync, how to use WhaleSync to move that data instantly between your two tools, and finally, how to do some cool things like auto mapping and linked records. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, and I'll go ahead and make myself a little smaller here, uh, is set up Airtable and Notion so it's ready to sync. Let's take Airtable first. For this example, I've set up a CRM. It's got some customers in there, their profile photos, some emails, a status, as well as a linked record in Airtable to the company that they belong to. This links to the companies table, again, has a couple companies here with their logos, headquarters, and so on. Once Airtable has all the data that we want to sync, we can head over to Notion and make sure that the Notion side is set up. Over in Notion, I'm going to use what's called a database block. So if you type slash and then database, you can use either of these two. So database inline or database full page. Both these above that I've already set up are database full page blocks. And you'll notice that we've got a contacts database here, uh, as well as a company's database there. Each of these databases has exactly the same fields as what we have over in Airtable. So we have name, profile, photo, status, email. Those correspond to the same fields over in Airtable. Once we have that, we're all ready to sync and we can head over to WhaleSync. In WhaleSync, you'll notice a big create new base button as soon as you sign in. That's how we get started. You can click there and that will kick off the setup flow. The first step of the setup flow is just choosing which tools you want to sync. As you know, we're going to sync Airtable and Notion just by clicking there, and we can press get started. Once we've chosen our tools, all we gotta do is actually connect to them. So with Airtable, that means adding an API key and a base sharing link. If we come back over to Airtable, first we can grab the API key from the account. We can copy that in here and paste it there. For the base sharing link, also really easy. Uh, all we're gonna do back in Airtable is hit share, uh, click this little share publicly, there's a little toggle here. Once that's turned on, you can copy the base sharing link and bring that back into WhaleSync. Hit continue, you're connected to Airtable. Now for Notion, it's even easier. All you have to do is click authorize. That'll bring you to a little connection page. First thing on this page, we just wanna check we're in the right account. For this demo, I'm gonna do it through my personal account. So we're good to go. And then click select pages. Here we are letting WhaleSync know which pages we can access to sync and map. The easiest thing to do is just map or give WhaleSync access to all your pages. But if you want to look for specific ones, you can search at the top. So we can look for our contacts database, select that one as well. I'm going to give it all access, click allow, and that'll bring me back to WhaleSync. Once we're here, we're going to map the data tables across Airtable and Notion. So as you know, we have a companies table and a contacts table in Airtable. We have a database called companies and contacts in Notion. We'll just map those two together, essentially tell WhaleSync that we want the Airtable companies table to sync with the Notion companies database. Um, once we have mapped those two together, we can choose the sync direction. By default, this is going to be two-way, but if you wanted to just sync from Airtable to Notion or reverse Notion just to Airtable, you can do that by toggling left to right. Uh, I'll bring this back to two-way and we can go ahead and hit continue. Once we've mapped the tables, we're just going to need to do the same exact thing for the fields. So within this company's database, we have a name, a logo, and a headquarters field. Uh, we'll just map those over to Notion. What you probably noticed is that automatically these fields are mapped for us when we get to this page. That's because WhaleSync has something called auto mapping. So if these two field names match exactly, so HQ and HQ, then WhaleSync will automatically map them for you. You don't have to do it manually. But if those names are slightly different, or for whatever reason you've chosen to name them differently, you can always map them uh, using the little drop down here, and that'll work just as well. Uh, if we look in the contacts table, we'll see all those uh, fields mapped. The last one we just need to add manually is this companies field um, because the names are slightly different, and that's going to correspond back in Airtable to this linked record called company. We can map those two. We're all good to go here. Let's hit complete. Once we've mapped all our data, we're pretty much good to go. Um, really, the last thing we need to do is turn syncing on by pressing this little toggle here. Before we actually turn sync on, it'll give you a little warning. What this is saying is make sure that before we uh, enable whale sync, 
that at least one of the two apps that you're syncing with has an empty database. So for us, Airtable is where we have the data to start. Notion is where we have an empty table. And here, all the fields match as we uh, went through before, but there's no data in it yet. This allows WhaleSync to cleanly create that first sync. And then from there on out, it's a two-way sync. So we're good to go. Everything is clean in Notion. Let's turn syncing on. This here will tell us that the data is initializing and then we'll show how many updates we have remaining. Every few seconds, this will start to count down. If we come back over to contacts, we'll see that immediately in real time, this data has already started syncing from Airtable to Notion. And we've got the name, the profile photo, the status, an email, signed update, and now the company's reference field is coming in there as well. And so with that, we have our sync set up. Now, anytime you update data in Airtable, it's gonna sync immediately to Notion or vice versa. Just to see that in action, let's add one more contact on the Notion side, maybe John Doe. We'll make him uh, follow up later. We can want an email, a date, and maybe he is an Apple employee. Now we have this here in Notion. If we come back over to Airtable, immediately this shows up. We can do it uh, on this side as well. Jane Doe, Jane at Doe.com. Maybe she's a paying customer already. And we'll make her a Twitter employee. Come back over to contacts. Boom, instantly we've got this data syncing here. All right, that is it. That is how you sync data two ways between Airtable and Notion in just a few clicks using WhaleSync. I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the chat below. Until next time, see you soon.